Salut. Maradin. Salam alaikum. Hello. My name is Lishabila Tavana. Naito Siaka William. Smithy Ayman. Mimi ni Kenyana, I'm Somali. M'appelle Iman Vermaki, je viens du Maroc. Nigeria. I'm from South Africa. And South Sudanese, Kwan Kwan Bad, in the African Leadership Academy. The African Leadership Academy. The African Leadership Academy. The diversity in the ALA classroom is an amazing feature of what we have here on campus. In an average classroom, you have a combination of students from about 15 or so African countries. It makes it really, really great. And bringing in their various perspectives makes for very, very rich class discussions. Our students sit for the Cambridge, um, external Cambridge examination um, at the end of the year. And that is a qualification that they take on to college, to university. Previously, we had a 97% pass rate in them. So right here, at the high school level, we start preparing students for life. One of the things that ALA has gotten right that I think is the greatest strength, in fact, for me, obviously, is a deliberate leadership curriculum. Because that is a major problem in Africa. And if we could get leadership right, there are so many things we'll get right. That's why I think leadership would help us, direct us, and help us get it right. And ALA is doing that by training its students to, 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 you know, you can be a natural leader, but you, you also have to have certain skills. And they're trying to give them the skills, the attitude, the aptitude, and all to be great leaders. And entrepreneurship, of course, is part of it because entrepreneurship is not about setting up a business. It's a mindset. It's a mindset to do things, I think, to do things better. And so, therefore, they are marrying the two, and I think that is simply great. The Academy provides not only um, a first-rate, absolutely top-notch educational opportunity to its students, but it also helps develop the kinds of maturity, resourcefulness, creativity um, in its students that really prepares them well for even the very most competitive institutions in the country, or in the world, really. ALA prepared me academically. The classes I took while at ALA, the, the rigor of the classes, because it was intense trying to juggle around the Cambridge A-levels as well as preparing for um, the African Studies Leadership and Entrepreneurship classes. You needed to learn how to balance your time really well. And some of the time management skills that I acquired at ALA are helping me here. I think what makes ALA special and sets it apart is the Entrepreneur Leadership Program because it gives you the right tools to put into practice all the ideas that you have. You organize them and you see a clear picture of what you want to do. You can be born into the position of guiding. But I think the fundamental question then is, is that leadership? When I teach this class, honestly, it, it makes me envy the students. It's the kind of education I wish I had because it's the kind of education that does two things. The difference between an ALA student and any student out there is that you take a problem, you put it in front of an ALA student, and you take the same problem, you put it in front of uh, any other you know, young African, and you ask them to give you their impressions on that problem. I can guarantee you, the ALA student will tell you, I see opportunity. What, your plan, what is your proposed plan of action and why? At ALA, the External Relations Department works very hard to get students external opportunities all over the world. Last November, I attended the Mo Ibrahim Forum uh, in Dakar, Senegal, and it was a three days conference. And I took part in the, in the opening panel discussion alongside with former President of Nigeria, Obasanjo, and one of the speakers was Desmond Tutu and his contribution to the discussion was really insightful. For the last two years, Sanergy and ALA have partnered uh, to send ALA's best students to come work for Sanergy uh, for internships or year-long fellowships. Um, so I interned uh, in Sanergy with external communications for four months. To date we've had four ALA interns and they've all just been fantastic additions to our team.
So one of the key advantages of the ALA program is that the young leaders who leave ALA are connected in a very tight network thereafter of alumni. Uh, we get them together every year, they meet for reunions, and we really emphasize creating a network of young leaders for Africa for the future, which will not only help them in their professional life, but also in their friendships as well. So Africa Careers Network is a wonderful resource that ALA students and graduates have access to uh, while they're here on campus and also in particular after they leave. It's effectively a website which uh, brings together a wide variety of both internship and career opportunities which students and graduates can access. My role as a mentor started off when I first spoke at ALA and I, at that time I was still with Ushahidi and I asked if there were students who were um, interested in me being an advisor or helping them as they think through their future plans that I was happy to assist. It's been a chance for me to give back because there are people who did that for me, uh, but also a chance to help shape these young minds in terms of the decisions that they're making for their future. I didn't really think I would come to the US, not NYU. I never even thought about it. So I guess Ailey really made that happen and I'm proud of it. When I went for the finals weekend, I was in love with the school. I mean, it was, it was really impressive. There were like all these people that were so passionate about Africa and wanting to make a change and I really wanted to belong there. It really was worth it and I think I'd go to Ailey all over again if I could. <laughs>